Good morning, got a little treat for you today. Out here on a service call, and this is kind of what happened uh, these gates. You can see that's a pretty big cable there, about the size of my pinky maybe, and it snapped off inside here. So we're gonna fix that today. Hey there, how are you today? If you're new to the channel, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. I have about 25 years experience designing, installing, and servicing quality long-lasting automatic gate systems. By automatic gate system, I mean I work on gates, gate operators, cameras, access control, and wired and wireless connectivity. And I've recently added video production to the list of things I do. I'd love to get your feedback, good or bad, down in the comments section, and please take a second to click on that subscribe button. It really helps us out when you do. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there. You can see that cable runs from up there, down, around the wheel, and down here to the springs. You can see the one that snapped. See how far back that uh, is, how much tension there was. So we're gonna loosen this guy up, put a new cable on there, and go from there. So let's speed this up for you. They just took that cotter pin off, pulled it. In hindsight, a little lubrication on that cotter pin would have been helpful. There we go, we got it. There's the old piece. And here's the new one. You can see I got two of them in there. I'm gonna actually replace both of them. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to reconnect the top piece there. How's it going? And what I'll do is feed that down through the bottom. So I apologize. Somehow I got my recorder on a time-lapse mode instead of video. So what I did was extend that spring out. And all it is is the opposite of what you're going to see here where I'm tightening it. So right now I'm just putting that... Uh, pin back in and slide the cotter pin back in there that thing to go back in there it's a little awkward being the back one front one's gonna be a lot easier to change than the one in the back you can see I'm reaching around the, the front cable and the bars there just gonna wrap up getting that pin in there with the cotter pin to hold it in place around the cable and I'm gonna grab some dry lube here. This uh, helps a little bit with the uh, tension on that spring going through that bolt. And we're gonna tighten it up again. I wish it had worked that fast. That's an inch and five eight socket on a half inch drive uh, Milwaukee M18. Did a pretty good job, went through about a battery per cable. At the beginning I marked where the spring pulls to. You can see it indicated there with the arrow. And I'm going to retension that spring back to that mark. Just checking the cable and I'm going to fine tune it here. Take another look. Oh, a little bit more. And there you go. I actually at this point have done the left cable or the outer cable closest to us as well. And since that one was closer, it was a little easier to access and didn't have to reach in there quite as far. There you can see everything looks good. We're back to the original. You can see the marks there on the bottom. We're going to run this thing a few times and uh, we can call this a wrap. So this is why it's so important to do preventive maintenance. If we checked this before it broke, then this gate, we could have fixed it before the gate was out of service. As it was, this gate was out of service for about a week because these cables are pre-made. You can't just make them in the field. So don't wait. Give us a call so we can check your gate. Hey there, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there.